In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on June 10, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Oakland Athletics vs. Cleveland Guardians The Oakland Athletics and Cleveland Guardians square off tonight in Game 2 of their four-game weekend series. Paul Blackburn goes for the A's while the Guardians counter with Tristan McKenzie in what I would consider the most underrated pitching matchup on tonight's MLB slate. Both of these starters have put up great numbers this year and this is shaping up to be a good one in Cleveland. The A's are 16-35 in their last 51 overall and 17-40 in their last 57 on grass. Oakland is 1-8 in their last 9 Friday games. Meanwhile, the Guardians are 9-19 in their last 28 Friday games and 2-5 in their last 7 in Game 2 of a series. Cleveland is 40-19 in their last 59 as a favorite. The A's are literally the worst offensive team in the league this year, ranked dead last in both team bat batting average and OPS. They're also running into a tough starting pitcher in Tristan McKenzie. The right-hander owns a 3.1 ER and the third lowest WHIP in the league at 0.86. McKenzie has also faced this A's lineup in 27 at-bats and limited them to just 5 hits. On the flip side, Cleveland's offense has been exponentially better this year ranking 11th in batting average and 18th in OPS. The Guardians are overall a better team at home this season, posting a 13-9 record. Much of that is due to how the A's have been playing lately, and some due to Blackburn's recent stats. In his last two starts, Blackburn is 0-2 with 10.2 innings, 8 earned, 12 hits and 2 walks. The offense hasn't been much help, though, coming into this series Oakland had scored two or fewer runs in five straight games. As for Cleveland, they should be fine with McKenzie on the mound. He's just one to two in his last three but has gone at least seven innings in each and only given up eight earned in 21.2 innings. The Guardians should be in good shape here, so the Cleveland Guardians' money line is our full game side pick. Unfortunately for Oakland, its starting pitcher has started to follow the trend of the team as a whole. Blackburn has now lost consecutive starts and is coming off his shortest outing of the season. He is going to have trouble recovering when the team has a dark cloud surrounding it, especially against a strong lineup like Cleveland's. Meanwhile, McKenzie is not in his best form either, allowing five runs his last time out. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Toronto Blue Jays vs. Detroit Tigers The Detroit Tigers will host the Toronto Blue Jays in the first game of a three-game series on Friday. Neither team had a game on Thursday. This will be the first head-to-head -head meeting of the season. In 2021, these teams faced each other six times, with each side winning three games. Both the Blue Jays and Tigers were off on Thursday, and Friday should see the far less intimidating mascot take down the team from the Motor City. Toronto has worked their way up from their slow start to 2022 going 7-3 in their last 10 games, and recently had an 8-game winning streak that stretched into the beginning of this month. They were missing Teoscar Hernandez in their recent loss, but he was not placed on the injured list. He just had a complete off day, and the Jays' lineup has since found its groove regardless. They fell short in a getaway game on Wednesday but opened up that series against the Royals about as perfectly as they could have hoped. They outscored Kansas City 15-0 in the first two games and look set to begin the same way against Elvin Rodriguez, and the Tigers. Not only is he inexperienced, but his few appearances have also been rough. After a relief appearance allowing four runs in 2.2 innings, he followed that up with his first career start allowing another four runs. He's now coming off an outing of allowing a ridiculous 10 runs. With the way Bo by Chet, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and the Jays are hitting, it should be another long day for the youngster. His inexperience was exploited by the Yankees as he was tipping pitches. Even Rodriguez himself admitted that it was true when asked about the video that had surfaced. He certainly worked on that, but Toronto's lineup is simply too potent for a complete turnaround in just a week. And who knows, George Springer could get this one started early with his 51st career leadoff home run. So the Toronto Blue Jays to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick.
Jose Barrios is a good pitcher who should get his act together at some point, but he's given up 35 hits and 22 runs in his last 32.2 innings. Elvin Rodriguez has been a disaster through 16 innings, allowing 20 hits and 18 runs while walking 7. Both the Toronto Blue Jays and Detroit Tigers have had great offensive success over the last two weeks or so. With the combination of the Blue Jays' hot bats and Rodriguez's struggles, Toronto could score 9 runs in this game themselves. Detroit's offense hasn't been great, but they have scored at least three runs in six of their last eight games. With the Blue Jays bullpen ranking in the bottom half of MLB in ERA, and Jose Barrios having a 7.28 ERA with opponents batting .313 against him in six road starts this season, I see this as a high-scoring affair. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Pittsburgh Pirates vs. Atlanta Braves Pittsburgh will try to snap its three-game losing streak and pull off a big upset when it faces the scolding hot Atlanta Braves on Friday night. The Pirates lost a pair of games against Detroit earlier this week before dropping Thursday's series opener at Truist Park in a 3-1 decision. Atlanta has rattled off eight straight wins as it tries to get back into contention in the National League East. Pittsburgh is 27-72 in their last 99 road games against a team with a winning record and 42-99 in their last 141 road games while the over is 2-0-2 in their last four games against the National League East. Atlanta is 13-3 in their last 16 games as a favorite and 4-1 in their last five home games while the over is 18-7-2 in their last 27 games as a home favorite. I don't think this starting pitching matchup is as wide apart as this line would suggest. Ronzi Contras has some solid stuff and Spencer Striders also had a lot of confidence built up from solid work done in a relief role. I believe that the Pittsburgh Pirates have all the value as a huge underdog in this game. The Pirates actually out-hit the Braves on Thursday night, but some poor luck led to the 3-1 loss. They potentially have the pitching advantage in this game, which is where the value originates. Pittsburgh might only need a few runs to win this game outright. All in all, I think this is a one-run game if the Pirates don't get the win. So the Pittsburgh Pirates to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Atlanta is on an eight-game winning streak, but five of those games have gone under the total. The Braves are a feast or famine offense. There is certainly a correlation between the side and the total in this game. Pittsburgh will have a great shot to pull off the upset if Contreras can continue his hot stretch as a starter and cool off Atlanta's bats. Meanwhile, Strider probably does not have a long leash. He is also facing a lineup that has scored three runs or fewer in five straight games. Both Strider and Contreras have been impressive so far this season with ERA south of three. While the Braves have impressed at the dish of late, the Pirates have struggled all season ranking near the bottom in most offensive metrics. They lack much power and therefore are unlikely to pile up runs in bunches. Look for Strider to make quick work of them and keep up his solid start. Atlanta will have some success on the other end but won't be able to carry this number alone. This should be a good matchup between two pitchers that are having very successful seasons. The under is 4-1 in the Pirates' last five, a trend that will continue here. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.